Dear visitors, I am delighted to introduce the new Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative website. Uh, for those new to EITI, it is what The Economist calls a curious coalition because we have governments from all around the world, huge oil, gas, mining companies, international and local civil society groups, pension and insurance funds, and big international organizations like the World Bank, all sit around the same table working towards the same goal. Improve governance in resource-rich countries through the full publication and verification of company payments and government revenues from oil, gas, and mining. As the banner says, a global standard for local transparency. The EITI is now being implemented by 15 countries, and we hope to have many more complete the sign-up shortly. Seven of the implementing countries have already produced fully audited reports. In addition, 39 oil, gas, and mining companies have agreed to support the initiative, plus institutional investors with assets that amount to over 12 trillion US dollars. The initiative has been endorsed by several G8 summits in a row and is due to be discussed soon at the UN General Assembly. There's still much to do. Extractive industries are important in over 50 developing countries, which are the home to some 3.5 billion people. There's nothing intrinsically wrong with extractive industries, but the sad truth is these countries have underperformed relative to other countries without natural wealth. There is a close correlation between the countries rich in natural resources and the countries with high levels of poverty. Ensuring that revenues from natural resources make it into the government budgets for public sector expenditures, for instance on health and education and so on, is key to reducing poverty, promoting democracy and reducing the risk of conflict. Informing, explaining and being transparent and accountable ourselves is a critical part of this journey. And this is a particular challenge across users with very different levels of access to the internet. Despite that, the fact that the old website received an average of 5,000 hits per day tells us a lot about how much demand there is for this information. I want to take this opportunity, by the way, to thank the World Bank and our colleagues there for hosting that website so excellently for the last three and a half years. I hope that you will find what you are looking for here and join us on the journey to make natural resources the blessing we know that they can and should do.